Hello everybody and welcome to 7 Days to Die. This is going to be an offshoot series, a side series, from my normal uh, Insane Nightmare Let's Play series. Uh, and we're going to call this the Casual Construction Series, okay? And so the idea here is it's going to be, the format's going to be a little bit more like a live stream. Uh, where I'm not going to edit anything at all. This is going to be purely 100% unedited um, footage. And the main focus is going to be where we're going to uh, do off-camera stuff and specifically uh, or mostly construction-related stuff. So thus the casual construction series. So that's the idea behind this. Now, some of you might be wondering, why don't you just actually live stream it, old guy? And... My response to that is that I probably, it is in my plans to start up my live streaming career once again. I do have a Twitch channel and I have uh, close to a thousand, a little over 900 followers, I think on the on the channel last time I looked, but I've had, you know, for those of you who are, are new to my channel and haven't been with me for a while, I've had some um, pretty serious uh, family medical issues um, that I've been dealing with uh, pretty much all through 2020 and um, uh, related to not not to me personally but to my wife and uh, we're on the tail end of that but it's it's really affected you know uh, my life as you can imagine um, and so I decided that you know while we were going through this I wasn't gonna live stream because the you know the nice thing about YouTube is I can sit here I can record and, you know, if she needs me or something, I can just hit the pause button and go, you know, go help her or whatever. Whereas if I'm live streaming, I'm kind of stuck in place um, and I just didn't think it was going to work well. Uh, but I am a live streamer. And like I said, I am planning on uh, resuming, uh, kickstarting uh, that up again on Twitch um, as soon as I can. Maybe even within a couple, you know, maybe within another month or so. I'm kind of looking at that, but no promises. It just depends upon how things go, you know, in my family situation. So anyway, uh, my original plan, if you watched my last Let's Play episode, was to, you know, start working on building our home because we found a really cool building site um, and do most of that work off camera. And I got to thinking, well, what the hell? Why don't we just go ahead and record it? But I'm not going to edit it or it'll be very, very lightly edited, if at all. Uh, reason for that is I just don't have time. Editing takes a lot of time, a, a long time. It usually takes me longer to edit a video than it does to record it. And, you know, I already have another series going on with Imperial Galactic Survival, which is one of my other all-time favorite uh, survival games. And I just don't have time to do, you know, three series and have to fully edit all three of those series. So um, these episodes are going to be long. They're going to be unedited. And they're not going to be so much action-packed as they are going to be building and, you know, doing other off-camera types of things. And so I understand that, you know, this type of episode may not be for everybody. And that's fine. If you don't, you know, want to watch longer videos with less action, then, you know, just catch the Let's Play series I will, that is going to continue. And this is just going to be... Um, like I said, a kind of a side series that still ties in with the Let's Play series. Okay, so all of that being said, um, let's go ahead and see where we're at. So I just got back uh, from the last episode from our trip out to the desert, and we've unloaded uh, everything out of the bike. I have um, made a bunch of yucca juice because we picked a whole bunch of yucca pa uh, pants. Yeah, yucca pants. Yucca plants. Uh, in the desert. So look at all those stacks of yucca. My goodness, that's awesome. Um, I still kind of prefer the red tea because of the efficient digestion um, buff that it gives us, which I believe means that we consume, you know, food and water less quickly. But yucca uh, juice gives us more water. It's got about 10, uh, yeah, about 10 more water than the red tea does. So they're both very good, of course. Uh, but we'll, we'll just keep those in there for the moment. And let's drink one of these right now. Mm -mm. Cactus juice is delicious. We love it. We love it. Okay. Um, let's see. So uh, in here, I've got the uh, the gasoline cooking up from all the oil shale that we did. Now, it is day 18. Um, so we need to start thinking about Horde Night 21, which I am planning on doing uh, at the Horde base again. And so we need to we need to get some more concrete made up. I believe I did fully repair the base though, so I don't know that we really need to do a whole lot more with it. But I just want to make sure we have plenty of resources on hand uh, for that. We we might stop by there and take a quick look at it too, and just see uh, you know what's going on with that. 
Uh, so yeah, I made up 11 aloe cream in there, which we can turn into meds, but we need to get some cloth out of here. I'm just going to make all this in the workbench because we're going to take off here in a minute anyways. Uh, so let's just make uh, 11 more first aid bandages. That's nice. Put that back in there. And we'll put... Uh, I decided to keep the empty jars and cans in the stove for the moment. Uh, ammunition. Let's see. We are kind of getting low on our 762s. We got plenty of 9s. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is we should probably make some armor piercing for, uh, for Horde Knight. I don't really have very many bullet tips though, do I? Okay. Well, that's just another thing we need to add to, geez, those are done already. Awesome. I think we're just going to make normal 762s, uh, for now. And I'm going to obviously have to do some mining, uh, for you know, ammunition stuff, so gunpowder, lead, that sort of thing. We've got a decent supply of brass, and, you know, another, from all those radiators, we got another 400-ish uh, to go to. So we're doing really well on brass. We just need lead, and we need gunpowder uh, materials. Let's put these up here, and we'll put this extra cloth back in there. So yeah, we're gonna we'll we'll wait for that seven six two. Well, actually, you know what? I don't think I am. I'll, I'll get I'll come back and get it later because I'm gonna get started uh, on our building. So we've got a decent amount of forged iron. We got twenty eight forged steel. I'm gonna save all of that for uh, for repairs at the horde base for now. Uh, we have not come across a crucible yet, so uh, we can't make steel, but we will eventually find one of those. Uh, some of you guys told me in the in the experimental series that if I put points into uh, better barter uh, not only does that give us uh, you know better prices but it also gives us better quality uh, stuff or rarer stuff like for example the crucible so we might think about throwing a couple points in there but my priority right now guys is I want to get the two mining skills and probably even some more sexy tea um, up I want but I want I want to get these up to five. Uh, because, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of hand mining for the foreseeable future. Uh, and we can already make blue level iron tools now that we have level 469er. Um, and that's something we probably ought to think about doing. But we only need to get strength to level 7, which really means we only need to get it to 6 because we ha we'll have an effective level 7 um, with our cigar so that we can max these two out so that you know with all the building and stuff that I have planned uh, we're gonna we're, we, we really need to maximize those two skills and probably some sexy tea as well um, the sexy tea is gonna also help us with you know our sledgehammer skill plus the fact that we can boost our shotgun all the way up too okay so um, I had a thought and I can't oh yeah we were gonna look at making some iron tools so to do that, we're going to need iron, we're going to need leather, I think we're going to need duct tape, so we should probably make, let's take about half of that glue and just turn all of that into duct tape. You can never have too much duct tape, you just can't, it's not even possible to have too much duct tape in this game. Well, it's probably possible, but we're going to pretend like that's not the case. <clears throat> okay, so, um... A pick and a shovel are the two things that we're going to be using the most. And so let's get both of those things crafting. Wait, do we have a steel shovel? No, we only have an iron stubble. Uh, stubble. Shovel. Stubble shovel. So let's get those two things crafting. Now we're going to have three mod slots for both of those tools. So let's put this stuff back in here. Wow, that used up almost <clears throat> all of our iron. But, you know, we obviously got to do some more mining. We just do. I mean, I have some iron in here. Let's turn all of that into forged. And let's make some cement, too. Okay. And let's see here. So we got those tools. Yeah, so we wanted to look at mods. Do we have any? Yeah, we've got, well, I think I already have that on my shovel, though, right? We do. I'm going to actually grab that anyway, because we could still put that on our pick. Not so much for digging in the dirt, but for just giving us more uh, block breakage. Uh, so we can put all these on melee tools as well. 
let's see what do we have on here right now we we do have a bunker buster mod which is very useful and on this one we got those two so what i'm gonna do is what's this health is below fortifying grip mod yeah okay um i think we'll put those three on the shovel and we'll put as long as these two are interchangeable i'm not 100 percent sure they are we'll put these three on the pick if one of these is not interchangeable then we can just put the gravedigger on the pick again just to increase its block damage that means then that we are retiring these two tools and we can repair them and sell them to the trader uh, when the time comes. All right, so how are we doing on our 7.62s here? So we have 112 rounds. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to do some more uh, mining work for sure. I think I'm going to grab all of those and we'll just put those in the bike now. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so yeah, gasoline is no longer going to be a problem. <laughs> we, can, we have gas for a long time. In fact, that gas will last us for a very long time before we even have to go back and think about making more. Let's top off our shotgun shells too. And uh, lucky goggles. Am I wearing nerdies now? I can't remember. I am. Okay. I want these because of the XP gain. And the, you know, and the minus 10% crafting time. These are actually, those and the Lucky Looters are really the best eyewear in the game, in my opinion. Unless you're specialized in, you know, a particular tree. Okay, so we got 17 seconds left on this guy. I just want to, before we leave, I want to make sure that we have the right set of mods on there so we're not taking an um, extra mod that we don't need to take with us. I'm not going to make a blue fire axe because we already have the steel axe and usually a level one steel axe is still better than a level five or level six iron. Usually that's the case anyway. Let's see what we can mod this with. All three of them. Nice. The burning shaft mod is kind of nice too because if we're in the dark it lights things up so even better, right? Even better. So that means we don't need the digger mod. And I don't think there's anything else in here that we would put on a hand to where we have the structural brace. So we're good to go there. How are we doing on our food? We could stand to eat something. So let's throw back some ravioli. And I guess we're putting cans down in here now. All right, guys, I think it's time for us to take off. we got a full stack of food and a full stack of red tea. Oh, coffee. Yes, coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's grab, like, two stacks of coffee because we're going to need that for all the digging and mining we're going to do um, to give us, this, you know, the stamina buff. And I do, you know, I really do need to put more points into Sexy Tea, too, uh, and I'm tentatively planning on doing that. Uh, so we'll just kind of see, you know, how things go. We do have one point in there right now, so... And we're also ready to hit the next level, too, so that's good as well. I might just continue pumping strength until we get it all the way to 6 and an effect of 7 before we put points into anything else. Let's just get her done uh, so we can get what we need in with the mining skills. Okay, what are we waiting on? That's what we're taking with us. So I don't think, I don't think we need to do anything else while we're here, right? This is just going to keep making gasoline. We have 34 minutes, 36, yes, yeah, so we're good there. Um, you only need about f a little more than five more minutes of burn time. Uh, so yeah, let's just make it that much, and then you're not doing anything right at the moment. No point in calling screamers in until we absolutely have to. That, now, that's another thing we need to consider, Tui, uh, Tui, yeah, doing is at some point, fairly soon, I'm going to want to move all of my crafting stations up to the build site, um, or close to the build site. So that, uh, you know, we can just do everything we need to do up there. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to spend um, a decent amount of time today just almost surveying and kind of deciding exactly how this is going to work. I got general ideas. I don't have specific ideas. So let's head on up to the build site. It's not too terribly far away from here. 
Oh, we were going to take a look at our horde base and make sure I have it fully repaired. I think I do, but I can't remember. Okay, so we do need to do some upgrading on it. That sledge, sledge thing is worthless. I mean, it's worthless for using on buzzards, which was the whole point. So it looks like I do have it fully repaired. I just also want to do some more upgrading on it as well. And we need to add... We need to add, I guess, more bars in. I mean, the <laughs> Horde 21 is just going to rip through those bars like nothing. But, you know, it does slow them down and buy us a little bit more time so they're not right on us the whole time, you know? So, ooh. yeah, I don't know. I'll think about that. I mean, the other design that I would use here, if you guys didn't watch my experimental series, would be hatches. And hatches are very effective. The only downside to hatches is that they, you can't shoot through them, right? Whereas with bars, if you've got spiders or dogs, you can still shoot the dogs through the bars. Um, however, that being said, the bars don't last as long as the hatches. And it's particularly if it's a fully upgraded steel hatch, um, not that we're going to be able to do that this time around unless we get luck out and find a crucible, um, they're much, much stronger. So it's kind of a trade-off, I guess. Uh, it is in my plans to... Uh, you know, to, to build a new horde base too, so that's not going to be our permanent horde base. I, I think we would have a very hard time with that base in the later game, as it currently is. We could probably make it work, but I have I have a better idea in mind, and this idea is going to be, if you guys did uh, did watch my Wasteland series, I'm going to do that again, basically. Because, man, that was the best horde base design I have ever built. Um, there was one horde night that we did there, and I got, I think I got like five or six levels. And this was already when I was pretty high level, a pretty high level character. Um, it's just a massive XP farm. And so, <clears throat> I think we're going to repeat that. The only thing about it, though, is I don't know if... The Horde AI is going to behave exactly the same as it did in Alpha 18, because that was... Oh, shit. We're kind of in a bad spot here, aren't we? Um, that was all Alpha Alpha 18, so... You know, if they behave a little differently in 19, we could be in for a bit of a surprise. <laughs> we'll have to just see how it goes. But we're going to use that same base for Horde 21 anyway, and then we'll just kind of assess at that point, um, you know, how well it went. So, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, um, we decided... Uh, or I decided that I want to build on this hill here. Um, rather than the, you know, the one across the way there, because I was originally thinking about that one behind me there. But I like this one better. It's closer to the town, and we have a nice view of the town. But then we also have a nice view um, of the, you know, the, the surrounding area. And there's a little more space uh, on top of this hill as well. So... Uh, it just, it makes a little more sense. And we actually even started cutting those trees down, if you guys remember, if you watched that episode. <laughs> and then we got rushed by a bunch of Zeekers, so we had to take off. So let's actually get rid of these trees. We can always, you know, replant later, but if they're this close to the build site, they're going to block our view. And of course, that's not what we want. So let's take that down. And my plan... My plan for this, if you you know, if you didn't catch the last episode, is we're gonna build a nice house, but we're gonna put a fence around it, or um, you know, we're gonna build a pretty stout fence around it. Uh, and of course, it's not gonna be a horde base house; it's just gonna be a normal house. So we'll still have to contend with screamers and wandering hordes, you know, that, that the game will throw at us. Uh, but if we have a nice stout wall put some spikes, maybe even make a little moat or something on it, uh, or at least put some spikes around it uh, on the outside. And later on, some shotgun turrets, then we, will, we won't have any trouble at all with with screamers or, you know, just daytime hordes. So I, I do like this location, though. It's such a beautiful view. Uh, going out that way, we can kind of see back out this way. You know, I was going to, I'm I am going to cut down all of the dead trees, too, just because, uh, you know, they don't look good, right? And we can get some wood from them, and then we can replant uh, nicer trees there later. So let's just kind of cut some of those down. We'll get a little more wood in the process. Check this trash. Trash. 
And then I then I have to decide what I'm actually going to do. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that's what that is at this point. Um, like for example, do we clear the the top of the mountain off first, or do we want to work like on our road and our our tunnel? Because the because we have the you know that road over there. So I'm going to build my own road coming down through that little draw there, uh, that little valley, and then we'll have a tunnel that will park our vehicles in and get up into the base from down below. Go down, man, go down. And we do, you know, we do need more more stone in particular, so the we might start this project with with the digging stuff. So that being the case, let's go ahead and go back down by the road and do a little, just a little bit of surveying. The thing about the road is, ideally anyways, it should be, we should try and make sure it's going uh, in one of the cardinal directions because of just the way the blocks work in this game. So basically, due east. So I'm thinking, you know, we build the road due east from here. Uh, except for that our hillside is that way. So let's put a... Uh, you know what? I, I need to go back over there for a second. If we're gonna, if we're gonna you know, do, do some surveying, we need to make sure we are uh, pointing in the right direction. Okay, so I'm going to say that right about here is going to be kind of our target, you know, for our road. Um, and so that means if it's going to be a due east road, it's going to have to come up through there. Unless, unless we build the road, again, through this little valley... And then it just kind of turns to the right to go, and we tunnel under the mountain this way. That might work better, because that, that'll be better for the road itself, I think, if we do it that way. So if that's the case, then what we want to do is, I think we're, our target is going to need to be, let's get as close to due west as possible. We want to go straight through here. We need to... Aim for about this this spot here, I'm thinking. Try and get, you know, the west right up on our compass. Okay, let's put a, a marker here. And that way it'll go straight through this valley here. Um, and then, you know, when we get to this spot, we could cut maybe just a little further, and then we'll turn to the south and go right underneath, you know, the mountain itself. So we'll worry about getting precise measurements for that once we actually get to this point. So let's head on back down this way. I have a feeling we are going to get a crap ton of clay <laughs> uh, cutting this road through here. The other thing we should probably consider is elevation, though, too. Um, I don't really... I want the road to stay as flat as it can just because it's really hard to make a smooth ramp in this game. That said, though, I also don't want it to really cut too much into the ground going through here, because then that's going to look like shit. I want it to look nice and flat, you know, coming up this valley. So maybe what we'll have to do is have it, you know, do an incline of sorts up to this point. I suppose the other thing we could do is we could build cobblestone ramps, uh, you know, the 22 degree ramps, so it's not a steep 45, because that's what it will be if we just, oh look, there's some coal, nice. That's what it'll be if we just use dirt, you know. All right. 
so yeah uh, what i'm gonna do guys is we're gonna come up to this elevation here and we're gonna try as much as possible not to dig too far uh in to the ground here just because like i said i don't want a big ugly furrow coming through here this is part of our view um and that might mean we might actually have to raise some of the ground to get it to work but let's worry about that when we kind of get to this point so we're gonna have to probably start here at, right around in here instead of right you know at the very end of the road just to make this all work correctly okay So probably right about here is where we want to start. And I'm thinking we might need to even do a little bit of filling in uh, in this area. Okay, let's, let's make some frames. We're going to need a lot of frames to level out the ground. So I'm going to make like 100 of those. And let's just see what happens when we set a frame right here. Okay, so it's sticking up a little bit from there. This road is... How wide is this road? One, two, three, four. It's about five-ish blocks wide. It's kind of hard to tell right there. Um, I suppose we could tell from here, right? One, two, wait, hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's really more like eight blocks wide, at least in that spot. I don't think we need to make it that wide, though. I believe the four by four is, is three. No, the four by four is only two blocks wide. So if we make a four block wide road, that should be adequate. I think that'll be adequate for what we need to do. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start. Um, we're going to have to put a block in there, I think. Let's just kind of start building this out so we kind of see what our elevation is going to be here. And, you know, we're going to have to dig a little further on, so we'll take the diggings from that and fill in this little hole down here. Get out of the way, man. Get out of the way. Sir. Oh, yeah, okay. Couldn't figure out for a minute there why it wasn't letting us put the block in place. Okay, so here, um, no, nah, you know, I think, okay, hold on a sec, let's look at this. Yeah, see, when we start getting up in there, we're going to, we're going to have to dig. So I'm just going to keep laying the blocks as long as it'll let me, you know, flatten out the ground here. But as, as soon as we get to, um, a spot where it puts the blocks up another level. Why can't I put anything there? I don't see anything in the way. I don't know. Uh, that's when we'll start digging. May, I might have just been too close. Okay, so right here is where we need to start digging. Because uh, we can no longer, you know, put the blocks down lower than that. But I do want to, um, probably when we get to around here is where we'll put in our, our 22 degree ramp to get us up to here. Let's, uh, look at this again. So if we go due east, 
We're going to cut right through there. Yeah, that's that. I think that's okay. We might need to shave down here a little bit, though, because here I don't want to. I want to try and get as close as possible to the level of, of this valley, right about in this spot here. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I just want to raise the ground up to actual block level right about to there just because it makes digging a little bit easier. Okay, so this little section here is, well, okay, let me think about this for a minute. There's actually a couple ways we could approach this. We could leave, we could do a little 45 uh, degree or I mean a 22 degree ramp here and just continue with the level I don't know I, I don't want like a bunch of bumpity bump ramps in this road though for one thing it'll look stupid but it'll also be a little bit rough so yeah let's stick with this plan now so we're gonna dig out this part And then, like I said, we'll take the dirt that we get from that, and then we'll come back here and fill all of this in uh, up to that point. So let's get our shovel. And um, we need to mod get the mods on here, too. I'm surprised it let us use both of those, but it does, so that's good. And let's throw down um, a sham. And a coffee. And do some digging. We can uh, two shot the dirt, so that's pretty good. Better than ha three shotting. Once we get 69er to five and get into a steel shovel, we'll probably be able to one shot dirt. second. Okay. I hope at some point we find an auger. I never did find an auger at all in our experimental series, and we did 40-some-odd episodes, I think, something like that. Which I guess would be another good reason to bump up um, uh, the, tr the whatever, the better barter. Yeah, better barter skill. Couldn't think of it for a second. Just kind of shave that down a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Probably didn't need to do that, but we did. We'll get a little bit more dirt in our inventory, and then we'll start making dirt blocks. We can go for pretty long, though, on the coffee without running out of steam. That's good.
So yeah, it'll be a bit of a narrow road for our four x four when we eventually get it, but I think that I think it'll be okay. Another thing I was thinking about too is I I probably will not uh, make the gyrocopter. Or let me rephrase that: if we find the schematics to make it, we might make it, you know, towards the the late game, just for funsies. But um, I I don't think I'm gonna make it otherwise. We might need all 90 of those blocks, so let's just make them now. Uh, the 4x4 is really my favorite vehicle in the game. It's got all the storage space, you know, and um, I, the motorcycle's faster, uh, so I do like the motorcycle too, but the 4x4 is really the best vehicle. The gyrocopter is fun, but it's not real practical in every case, you know? Um, well, you know, one exception to that, though, is we did have the gyrocopter in the Wasteland series, and because the Wasteland is so damn hard to get around in, uh, the Gyrocopter did come in handy for that. So we'll see. We'll see. I might I might make it, but what I'm, I guess what I'm saying is I'm probably not going to put points towards the Gyrocopter. We'll make it if and when we get the schematics for it. Because, you know, once we hit get into endgame, resources aren't, aren't going to be a big deal. Okay, so we ran out of steam there, but that's good. We can dig for quite some time before that becomes an issue. I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. Oh, we're out of coffee, too, so let's throw back another Joe. Pretty soon we're going to get into two blocks high here. And we already are at this point. Yeah, I wish there was a, a way for the player um, to be able to make smooth inclines like, you know, like the, the random gen can do. You know, so this road here is sloped, right? But it's relatively smooth. There's no really hard ridges. And I, I don't know really of a way for us to do that because, you know, the voxels, when you dig them out, they're pretty much at hard angles. They need to have kind of like a, maybe a, a terrain smoothing tool or something. There's another level. Um, you know what we might actually go ahead and do with that is... Let's throw that into sexual Tyrannosaurus. So what's this give us? Um, reduce melee and tool stamina uses by 15% and power attacks by 30%. Killing killing blows grant 10% stamina. Okay, that's going to come in handy. Because um, if you guys notice, when I use my sledge, I usually try and use it for killing moves, and most of the time I try and do power attacks with it. So, you know, that's just going to make that even easier to do now. Soften them up, you know, with the gun or the ranged or whatever, and then take them out with the sledge. Okay, we're kind of getting into some weird voxels here now, but we're also getting pretty close to the bank there where we're going to build our ramp. So let's just kind of keep going here for the moment. You know, an another thing, too, I'll say about how this uh, side series, this little casual construction series goes, is I'm probably not going to talk as much as I normally would. Uh, I mean, I'll try and keep un some dialogue going, but there's going to probably be moments of just, you know, chill and silence, too. Uh, maybe maybe we'll even 
I don't know, maybe we'll put some background music on. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's take a side step here and just kind of assess where we're at. We'll get this guy. So this is our embankment, but we don't necessarily need to get all the way up to the top of it because it's going to dip back down uh, over here. What is our elevation standing right about here? Let's take a quick look. Uh, we are currently at 111 meters. Okay. So that's kind of what we want to shoot for, I think, over here, too. Got a Zeke up there. So we're at 112 right there, 111, so right here where we're standing. That puts us at 112. Come here, fatso. Did I get that other Zeker's attention? No, but got that one's attention. Couldn't see him through the tree, so I had to sledgehammer by Braille. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on a sec. All right, I've got to um, actually take a break in real life, so we'll just pick up right where we left off. I'll be right back. All right, guys, uh, we are back. Uh, and just picking up pretty much where, right where we left off. So... This elevation here, 111, is the same elevation that we ultimately want to get to. So you know what we might be able to do? Maybe we will just kind of cut through here. Um, I mean, you know, it's gonna we're gonna have like a a bit of a furrow down there, but if we don't do that, then we're gonna have to come back, either come back down through here, or we're gonna have to raise the ground so yeah maybe i don't know maybe we won't do the the ramp maybe we'll just cut through here and what the hell that's probably going to be the best in fact this might even turn into out to be like a little bit of a tunnel which would be fine too um because i i was thinking that the the little valley up there was a little higher elevation but it's not it's right even with this so this is really where we ultimately want to be. Um, it almost makes me want to... Well, no, I'm not going to do that. I was going to say maybe fill in, fill this back in, but I don't think that's going to be the best case scenario. So... Alright, let's see. Come up here. And I'm just going to flatten all of this out again, too. So I wonder if we could... Hmm... I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try something. Uh, 
It might actually... You know, it's too bad I kind of hadn't figured that out earlier, because then it would have made more sense... Oh, shit. To build the ramp up over there. Is that just a normal wolf? Yeah, I think it's just a normal wolf. Damn. Did we kill that wolf? I don't think we did. Did he run off? If he did, he's going to come back. He was standing right here. Usually when they run away, they come back. <clears throat> huh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to be on our guard. <laughs> okay. All right, so anyway, back to this. Um, what I was saying was... It would have been better if we could have made the incline probably right about here, but it's too late now. So we're just going to go with this. But this is the level we need to get up to. So the question is, if I were to come along and just hit this once. Nope, that didn't work. I wasn't far enough over. Okay, let's try this then. Okay, now let's do the same thing here. Just hit it once. That makes a smoother incline. Um, what if we also, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's one shotting all of that because I guess I'd already nipped it once. Sounds like maybe our wolf friend's back. Uh, where are you going, homie? Yeah, here. <laughs> there you go. I'm right here. Okay, that wolf's making me a little nervous. That's just an easy. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just keep working. We might get snuck up on by a wolf at some point. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just not, uh... Okay, let's... Let's fill those back in, and then once again, just do one little nip there, one little nip there. I mean, that's not a terrible angle, but it's... It's just not smooth as a thing. The other thing we could do is keep it on this level and cut all the way through over to here and then 
you know, when we start to, to break out on this side, then bring it up to the level of a uh, elevation of 111. Yeah. That's 111. That's 111. <clears throat> So, so basically the, uh, the way out of the tunnel would have the ramp. Plus, if we stay down lower, we can make a little bit more of a tunnel. Where'd that deer go? So, maybe we'll do that. I don't know if, if that made sense to you guys coming out of my mouth. It made sense in my head, so you'll see what I mean if that didn't make sense. Alright, let's harvest this deer. Off with his arm. Kind of heard footsteps. Okay, so we should get into a little bit of stone here, probably too, which I want to. I want that to happen because we need stone for, for cement. Okay, so let's throw back another sham and throw back another coffee. And get back to digging here. You guys notice that the the top layer uh, of soil is actually stronger than the next layer down. Presumably, I guess, because it has sod, maybe? We're going to want to make this tunnel at least three blocks high in order to get the 4x4 four four in it. And that's going to be pretty tight. but it should work. So we're going to have to dig another block up from there. Yeah, I think that next point in Sexy T pretty much made it to where we can shovel indefinitely, at least while we're on coffee. Always a good thing. To have plenty of stamina. Our coffee's about ready to run out, so let's just see how we do once the coffee runs out.
So it'll probably take a couple more blocks in before <clears throat> the tunnel starts forming because it's still going to break away the, the top crust. You know, one thing we could actually maybe do about that, now that I think about it, is let's put some frames down to raise this ground up. Yeah, see, it's not going to raise it up any higher than that, though. At least not on that side. So, you know what I think I'm going to do here is... Let's put some dirt blocks in there. Might even come out to about there. Okay. I think we can start the tunnel now. <clears throat> Maybe what we'll do is we'll bring the dirt out just a little more this way too. Something like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and keep digging in. We're probably going to, looks like we're going to hit some stone here pretty quick, which is great. me like we need to take this too. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> okay. I think the next row of bottom blocks there will be stone. Yep, right there. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll clear out uh, a little more dirt with the shovel and then we'll switch to the pick to start removing the stone. We're going to have plenty of clay by the time this is said and done. Okay, finally out of stamina, but we can go quite quite a long time before we run completely out, so that's good. That is good. Okay, now we're into stone there, too. As the ground raises an elevation, so then will the stone. And then let's go up one more. Okay, let's switch to our pick. So 
So it takes five hits at present with our current skills setup and tool. I never really use power attacks when mining. Just, uh, I tried it in Alpha 17 when they first introduced it, and it just didn't seem like it was a better way to do it when, it, you know, over a period of time. Because, you know, you, you break more of the block, of course, but it uses, I don't think it uses an equivalent amount of stamina to even out. Could be wrong about that, but it's probably also contingent upon skills, too. But it does look like we run out of stamina faster mining stone with a pick than dirt, which doesn't surprise me. So let's go ahead and throw back another coffee to offset that somewhat. Um, any diamonds that we find, I'm going to save uh, for diamond-tipped tools. Because, I mean, we could potentially be using hand, hand tools for a long time. And so, you know, we might as well make them as, be, as good as we can possibly make them. Or maybe we'll luck out and find an auger. Who knows? All I know is I never found one in my uh, experimental series. <laughs> I think what we'll do uh, when the sun comes up is we'll go fill in that little depression by the road before we continue the tunnel. I think we're about an hour into this episode too, so... What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try and keep these build episodes about an hour long, um, more or less. And remember, again, no editing. You're pretty much just going to get it straight up as it is. But let's go ahead and wrap up this episode here, guys, and then we'll just pick up right where we left off uh, in the next episode, and we'll continue uh, working on our road. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and don't. And remember, if you are watching me for the very first time on this episode, um, this is kind of a side, uh, a side shoot from the main series. I am doing a normal Let's Play series, um, you know, with your standard 30 to 40 ish minute episodes with lots of action and, and all that kind of thing. And so, um, you know, be sure to check that out. OK, that's it, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.